Coach Mangova, if you can give us a perspective of the 90 minutes, please. Yeah, man, one of those those games that are always very difficult for us. Uh, Baroka got three very good chances first half. And the unfortunate part is on situations that we had discussed in our tactical arguments that when the ball is not covered, uh, their wingers always run in between the fullback and the centre back. And we know Masia is very quick. We know Mkaka is very quick. And Mahopa is also a threat in the last line. Uh, we were fortunate not to concede from those situations. But uh, I think after that, we managed to take control of the game. Uh, dealt very well with their transitions from defense to attack. But uh, still not shrewd enough uh, in moments that we got. I think our transitions from defense to attack were at times a little bit lethargic. We never really incisive enough to try and get behind their defense. But uh, nonetheless, good performance to the group. Dennis kept us alive, uh, though we nearly caught on one of the throw-ins because we knew they are looking for Mahopa in those long throw-ins. But uh, I think Dennis dealt with the situation very well. We created some very good moments and I was very particularly impressed with our second goal. I think we were a little bit nervy, uh, never really put the foot down on the ball and control the game and maybe hide the ball more. But I think after we scored the first goal, we looked uh, like the team that one knows and uh, we took control of the game. Another clean sheet from Dennis and the group. Very good work from the substitutes. I think Kemit changed the complexion of the game. Kapinga also brought in some, some calmness into the play. Um, Shishi Gaston, you know what you get from them and the combinations that they gave us on the second call. Uh, I think overall we we did the business. We wanted the three points. We wanted to, to have a clean sheet. We've got that. We always greedy at times, wanting more than two goals. But uh, I just hope and pray we can get one match where we can manage to score the chances that we create. Kemi, it was unfortunate to hit the upright. I think it did everything right at the end of that uh, cross, but uh, unfortunately it was not to be. That's my overall assessment of the game. Uh, first question, you may raise your hand. Um, coach, <coughs> it's Mazola here. Um, congratulations again on the win and um, the unbeaten run. W would you say you uh, beginning to sort of find your, your your rhythm now. Obviously, you did say that it, it took a while considering the number of new players that came into the picture. Um, but that second half particularly uh, looks like it's a Sundowns team that's beginning to to gel and find the right combinations. Although maybe the 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 number of chances being being taken is still a, a factor to to iron out. And if I could squeeze in a second one, uh, Gaston obviously. A lot said earlier in the season, transfer, you know, the Alakhli thing. But now he's coming, fought to to win his place in the team um, and seems to also be being part of of, of helping you uh, get that rhythm back. Your thoughts about him? <clears throat> yeah, firstly, we, we are happy that now we are almost at a stage where we, we are injury-free. I think it's only one or two players that are out uh, still with injury with Afonso and uh, Brian Onyango, who is uh, getting better as well. And uh, the group is beginning to gel. Uh, there's a little bit of consistency in the team in terms of our lineups, unlike before where we would change four or five at times and even six in one of the matches. Uh, but I would not say this is one of our best performances. I think uh, there are a lot of matches where we really took charge and uh, we have totally in control of the game. Uh, today we were in and out, in and out in phases. Uh, we had some very good phases, obviously. We, we had very threatening moments. Uh, it's unlike us to have the chances that they got first half, Masia's chance and uh, Mahopa's chance. I think those were very big chances and we are normally very stingy to give away such, such chances. But uh, today I think we had some really serious momentary lapses of concentration. 
which nearly punished us. But uh, nonetheless, like you are saying, second half, we recollected ourselves and we put our foot down and started to dominate. I think first half, we, we did not create maximum width and utilize it from time to time to shift the block. Uh, second half label was wider and Lyle gave us that width that we wanted. And it gave us a little bit of an edge because the moment they have to deal with the white channels now, they also have to worry about Gaston Mshishi insight. And it becomes very difficult when Pizzo also is probing in, in that space. Then we're getting a little bit better momentum in the game, which probably can be characterized from the second goal that we scored, because that is how you would expect to break down a compact defense and a little bit more composure and conviction in your in your play which i think is what we did very well but uh, like i'm saying it's not one of those matches where we consistently caused problems to the opponents this time around we had some very good moments and suddenly you are under pressure a transition or a scary moment and again you get a chance but uh, one must appreciate the number of clean sheets that we are getting there must be something right that the boys are doing there must be something right that the coaches are doing there must be something right that analysts are doing in making sure that they give us the right information to prepare for the implementation during the matches and so far so good. And on Gaston's issue, we, we are all very happy. We know what he gives to the team. Uh, it's always difficult for a player to really concentrate into, into his game when there are transfer issues around. But as soon as Sundowns made a clear decision that they are keeping Gaston, and Gaston came back and helped the team. And uh, make no mistake, he's a very good boy. He's, he's uh, not as mad as people think, and he knows we, we we believe in him. We've got a very good team, and he knows that, which is also a big advantage that even when he was not playing, the team was winning. So he also likes the game. So he wants to play every match. And if you don't perform at Sundowns, it's very difficult for anyone to get an opportunity. I was making an example this morning uh, about uh, Nkulisi. When he played in Cape Town against Cape Town City and we won that match, he had a very good game. But due to medical reasons, he found himself out of the team. It became so difficult for, for Pizzo to come back into the team and he had never done anything wrong. But what do you do when HA is performing, when Lebu is performing, when Shish is, Lebu is performing and everybody is giving a good account of himself, Mvala is scoring some goals, then because we are trying to be honest and fair with everyone. We, we, we don't take people out. We don't want to have favorites that must play even when they are not doing well. And I think that is also paying off. And Castron also realizes that even when he's, he's back, when he's not performing, he will always come out and somebody else comes in. And Kapinga is beginning to show his signs now. And everybody is really looking after himself and making sure that whenever he gets an opportunity, he gives a good account of himself. Uh, can we have Velile, then after uh, the answer for, for Velile, then Masadzi, then the next person after that will be your last question. So Velile, you may go ahead. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Um, Coach, congratulations on the win. Um, just two quick questions. The first one, uh, I think 16 matches now, I think this is uh, the record from the beginning of the season for Sundowns uh, in terms of the unbeaten and run. Um, how far do you think... How, how, how far do you think things are going? I know that you had said at the beginning of the season that you want to equal your best um, number of points that you, you, you've collected. And maybe before you even scored, um, the big role played by someone like Dennis Onyango, I think today was his um, clean sheet number 11. Um, and even after you had scored, uh, some more super saves from him. Um, just if you can touch on, on, on his role overall in this team. Yeah, we we are all excited with uh, with the number of games that we, we have gone uh, without a loss. But uh, to be honest, it's not the, that is not our focus. Our focus is is on each game that comes to try and and give a good account of ourselves. We we believe that we we are our only best enemies. If we as Sundowns we perform every match. There is no reason for us to lose a match, to be honest. Uh, and we have demonstrated that a lot. There is a lot that is working well for us. I think uh, our counter-pressing is also a very big reason why we, we, we've been 
de defending very well because if you've got somebody like Peter from the top who runs the way he runs uh, to press defenders, then it inspires the whole group behind him. You've got your two eights probably today, Motobi, Eipizzo. They have to work very hard in that space. You've got Mshishi and, and, and Gaston. Yes, the credit at the end goes to U U Dennis when he does not concede and he makes some, uh, some good saves. But the truth of the matter, I think as a group, we, we, are, we are working very hard together to make sure that we keep positive results to the team. But as to how long and how far we can go with it, it's, uh, it's very difficult to tell. But we will just keep plucking each and every match and, and doing what we have to do and focus in each and every match, which is why I commended the work of the analysts because in our profiling of opponents, I, I think these guys are also doing a very good work. Uh, with the assistance of all the coaches that we work with, I think we, 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 we are not fixed in, in, in playing the same way and looking at football the same way. We try to adapt as much as we can as to how we can defend against a particular opponents because they present different strengths. Like this boy, Mahopa, is, is one of the strongest area. And we knew they played for him. They put the ball to him for second ball. And Mkaga, Pachi, Masia will always look to benefit from that. But uh, the work that is done by these guys behind the scenes, it's, it's really encouraging. And on that one, one, one must comment the good work. And as to how many points at the end we get, uh, we are unhappy even with the ones that we have now because we believe we could have won the game against Supersport. We believe we could have won the game against uh, Swallows. We could have won the game against Golden Arrows. But uh, for whatever reason, when you don't get those results, you, you always feel bad. But the truth of the matter is we, we are working very hard to make sure that each and every match that we play, we focus our full attention to what the opponents of that particular day are presenting and not get carried away from what happened in the previous match. And really, really, there is a lot of good work happening behind the scenes. And I appreciate everybody that I happen to work with and also appreciate the club the president, the boss, the management, for making sure that they give us the support that they give us because we would not be where we are on our own. We need uh, the support of everybody within the team to make sure that we've got the right, the right players at any given time and players are coming back quicker from injuries. And so far, I think the medical department has done very well. The club is pulling all stops to make sure that we always get players back. And that is encouraging for any coach. Sorry, there was a question about Onyango, coach. Yeah, Onyango will always be evergreen, man. We we survive there. We know the guy. If you if you saw even the game we played against Al Hilal, we knew aerially they are very strong and they are targeting the far post. And we said Onyango rather be be the one who help us with uh, with these corner kicks and free kicks and. And all these things because we know his strength really dominates the box and uh, his personality within that space makes the team stronger uh, we are also encouraged with what is coming underneath or behind him cause is doing very well kennedy has done well whenever he got an opportunity uh, riyad has improved in leaps and bounds in his game and i really want to see him playing because i believe uh, cause riyad and probably the super sport boy have got a very bright future to, to lead the national team. I see a lot of good things from those pro players. But unfortunately, when you've got Dennis there, what do you do? Do you take him out to try and, and help the national team and lose matches or what? So the truth of the matter is we, we are fortunate to have a goalkeeper like Dennis, uh, who is also very helpful in the development of all the other goalkeepers that we are working with. Bajele and Mark, can you have one question? Please put it on of you. Thank you. Um, good evening, coach, and congrats on the win. Coach, I just want to check here. Are you at all uh, uh, concerned or worried about uh, Pagamanda Masambi's inactivity at Amazulu? Because obviously, he was taken there to get much needed uh, game time. Uh, on Pagamani, I think I, pr I would prefer not to comment. I would prefer not to comment because it's his career. He knows what he has to do for his career. We have we tried our best as well to, to help him. He's a very talented player. You know what he can offer. But I think 
At times, players must also take full responsibility for their careers. Can we have a question from uh, John T, please? And that will be the last question. Thank you. Hi, Coach. Um, I just want to ask, obviously, you guys now will go to Algeria for the Champions League game. Uh, I heard a conference earlier in the week where you mentioned you were pretty sure you had visas. We've seen what happened with Kai the Chiefs and why dad sort of not letting them in. Are you, are you definitely able to travel and when will you leave? And, um, you know, what do you also, what do you know about these Algerian opponents that you're going to face on Tuesday? Uh, I, I think the logistics of visas and everything are sorted. I think we... We are good to go, and we are, we are traveling tomorrow uh, to Algeria. Uh, I don't think we will face the same challenges that Chiefs faced. I think uh, maybe Algerian government and the South African government found each other, and it was easier for us to get those visa, visas. Uh, what was the next question? Um, what do you know about our opponents? Oh, no. I've, I've looked at some clips for them because I did not want to to get carried away and focus on them before Baroka. I think we've got a little bit more time to start focusing on them, but they are a very good playing team. We we watched the game they played against Mazembe. Uh, we, we know what they are capable of. Very intricate. At times playing more like Swallows with inverted fullbacks, more especially on their build-up. Technically, the North Africans have got something to give. Good overloads uh, on the ball side, but uh, we also believe we've got we've got the team that can go there and compete and win. We we will fight for that. We are not going there to try and get a draw. We we believe we've got the capacity to to go to Algeria and fight for a result. And Algeria has been very good to us. I just wish they can continue to be good to us. In our first stint, we beat Satif. Uh, last season, we beat USMA away from home. So today or this year, we should we should also be given another chance to win away from home. That will put us in a very, very good position. At least if we can win one or two games away from home, it, it secures a better position in the group. Um, so the team travels tomorrow. Thank you, coach, and Jenny Messis uh, to Algeria. Thank you. Thank you.